Hello, in this tutorial today I'm going to cover how you can add a simple timer feature to your Google Form Assessment. You would do this if you wanted to set time parameters um, for students so that they didn't take an exorbitant amount of time on an assessment. Now this is very helpful for when you give assessments after school or at home in an online or a blended learning kind of environment. Um, it also lets you uh, track when they open the form and how long they take um, the quiz as well. Now you you don't have to set a timer limit that stops them from completing the assessment but it'll let them know they've gone past the amount of time and they can still submit it. Um, but there is a feature that even lets you stop them from submitting it and that's kind of a dangerous one. Um, but if you truly wanted an assessment that had to be um, a certain amount of time and you had to shut it off, it'll let you do that. Now, right now I've kind of created a Google form. I've called it timeify.me demo. Um, I even put the description of what this form is about, which is just to show you how to use this add-on feature in Google Forms. And then I made some generic uh, question fields. Now, the first step is to go ahead and get the add-on. To get the add-on, you're going to go in the upper right-hand corner in the new forms and click on the three dots and go to where it says add-ons at the bottom of the menu. When you get to the add-on store, you're going to simply search Timeify Me. I'm just going to type in Timeify Me. And you're going to see right here that I already have it. Now all you have to do is go to the plus sign and add it. Now a little note, um, it's not just an add-on that sits natively alone in Google Forms. You also have to go and manage your account on the Timeify Me website. So to show how that works is I'm going to go type in Timeify Me and notice I'm already signed in with the email I used to get the add-on and notice there's already a form that has the Timeify Me add-on enabled and that's the Hour of Code survey. Um, and I just did that to show as a demo. Now going back to my form, I have not chosen the add-on yet. So you would have gone to the store, you would have gone to add-ons, you would have gone and found Timeify Me, you would have added it, and then of course gone to the website and created your account. Now you're going to go to the puzzle piece and you're going to click on it and notice at the bottom it says Timeify Me and I'm going to click it and say configure and then I'm going to check add on. Give it a few seconds. Um, it'll give you a little message saying not to delete the field and you'll notice at the bottom it's right here. So you do not want to remove that field from the form. That's important. Um, so now if I go back to the uh, Timeify Me website, you'll see that Timeify Me demo appeared on my Timeify Me forms. So it's there ready to go. Now your next step is you have to create a unique link for each student um, to take this quiz with Timeify Me. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you the downside. Um, you're limited to 50 mass emails a month. So there is a downside. You would have to actually do it manually and copy and paste and then send it to people in an email. But if this is a must do feature for your form, it's still really doable. So I'm going to go right now and add links. And this is where you basically type in or paste in the student email addresses. So we're going to do eddie.nemic at gcsask12.net comma and then edward uh, dot nemic at gcssk12.net enter so now there are two people that are going to get unique links to take this assessment and be timed I have to set the time limit down here where it says timer duration and just for the purpose of this video I'm going to set two minutes so we can really see what happens um, I'm going to do the one thing that you have to be careful with and just to show what happens when you do it um, is auto close the form and it even warns you and says if the time runs out and the student hasn't submitted the form they're going to not be able to submit the form and it's going to close it on them so I kind of just want to showcase that to, so you see what happens so I'm going to hit create and then my links are now created now each link is unique to each student so yes this would be something troublesome if I have 120 kids and I'm copying a link for each one Notice when you go to send links here, it says you have a 50 um, email quota. So I could theoretically, if I didn't have a quota, hit next and select all the, the students and ship them all their unique addresses. 
So I think this is where Timeify Me is trying to make some money on this. Um, but, you know, use it for whatever purpose you need to use it for. I'm going to go ahead and showcase it. So now it says eddy.nemic. I'm going to copy the link. And what you would do is email the link to Eddy. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm already signed into Google. I'm going to go ahead and paste that link and go to it. Um, notice at the bottom it doesn't see, it's, it's going to say open form. But it, what it wants to do is make sure you sign in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in, select my account, and go back to the tab. And notice it says open the form now. That's kind of the set of instructions right here telling you what to do. Up here it warns you that once you take this form, you have two minutes to take it. And if you do not submit it in two minutes, um, the form will close. And you will not be able to do it again. So I open the form. Um, what's really nice feature is you see the timer, I'll get away from it, is sitting on that tab up, up there in the browser. And you can see on the bar I have a timer uh, as well. And then I'm going through the assessment now. And I'm going to let this one go. I, I'm not going to answer this question. I'm going to go now to Edward Nemec um, and paste in the link for Edward Nemec. So I'm going to go back to my Timeify Me dashboard, go get the link for Edward Nemec and in theory email it to Edward Nemec. And, he would then go into his browser, paste and go. Um, notice he has to sign in. He's going to select his account, go back to the tab, and open the form. All right, so Edward's now working on it. Now notice I have 1 minute and 15 seconds remaining in the tab. And then what's really nice, if I hit refresh, you see who's in progress. Um, unfocused time, I believe, is that I haven't really done anything in a minute. All right, or that's the amount of time that's left um, that I could have used for the form. So we're going to watch this counter go down um, and see what happens. We'll go back to Edward Nemec and we'll type in, you know, Edward Nemec. And we'll select an answer and hit submit. All right, so he's done. And now notice he, he can't hit refresh and retake it. The link's now gone. It's expired. Eddie Nemec is about to run out. It's turning red saying submit now. Noticed on the dashboard, if I hit refresh, it'll say that Edward Nemec has finished with one minute remaining. It says that Eddie is still in progress. So the timer's going. It's, it's warning the student that they have to turn in their assessment. Um, and then we're going to let the seconds count down now and see what happens. So I didn't hit submit. So it force closes it. And then if I hit refresh, I cannot take the assessment again. So this feature is a very nice feature, but it comes with a warning. And that is if you truly set a time limit for a student for whatever purpose uh, you intended, um, it will not let them finish the assessment. Now, if you go back to the form that you're going to use, um, and let's go to our code of survey and click links. You don't have to auto close it. So let's do one minute right here, not auto close it. And let's add my name again, um, just so you can see for the purpose of this tutorial what happens. So here it is, copy link. Um, and now what I'm going to do is go paste to that link and go um, and sign in. And while it's doing that, I'm going to show you what happens after the minute is up. Um, and while it's counting down, I'm also going to come over to the form we were just in that we used in the beginning. You can go to a CSV and go for analytics. And you can open that in an Excel document. And this is where you can see real you know, clearly um, when the student opened the document in a spreadsheet, when they finished it, um, looks like right here that of course Eddie Nemec didn't finish it and it auto closed. Um, so it lets you know that, you know, it closed it on me. Um, now overtime is interesting. I believe you're not going to see anything for this one because I set a time limit and closed it on you. Um, this will show you how much time they went past on the timer. Um, so you have all the analytics for all the students that took your assessments. So I'm going to close that right now. Let's go back to the timer and take a look. So time is up. 
Now it's showing you how much overtime I'm going. So maybe this is getting kids ready for a timed assessment like the AP exam where they only have 55 minutes or 60 minutes to take an exam and you want them to know how long it's taking them to do this form. So I'm just gonna quickly go through this and hit submit. All right, and then notice if I hit refresh, I'm not gonna be able to submit another answer. Go back here and it says finished with overtime. So if I go to that CSV and I look for the analytics on it, um, it's gonna show you that I was over time right here. And it's gonna show you um, how much time I was going over and then duration as well uh, for that assessment. So I hope uh, this tutorial was helpful. It was just to show you an option that you can set time limits or track um, how long students are taking an assessment. Um, this could be used both in and outside of the classroom. And just the one caveat that I wanna throw out there is you do have a limitation on the send links and you have a quota. And if we go to increase quota, um, it looks like you're gonna have to pay money uh, to send it to um, a large amount of students. So if you're gonna send this to a class of students, I could see this one not working really well um, because it says 500 links um, and most of us would work with more than 100 students and that would not work well. So I guess uh, maybe this is something you would use once in a while or you would go ahead and just copy the links and send them to them if you really had to set a timer on it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. I just wanted to share with you the possibility of setting a timer on a Google form. Thank you.